We're going to need to know a lot more about Zika, and much of it may already be in the scientific literature that's been published, uh, but that we don't read. We don't read it because there's so much. So we've built a machine, Content Mine, uh, which will liberate the facts from the literature. We do this automatically, and we use Europe PubMed Central, a major collection of open access uh, biomedical literature, uh, to find it. And the system is so simple that to find knowledge you simply type uh, the phrase that you want to know about. We're going to use Get Papers to download all the open access XML files uh, on Zika. So we type the query in, we tell it it's XML, and we'll output it to a directory Zika. That's it. It's running on a domestic phone line, so anybody can do this. And it's already got the metadata, now the XML, and it's finished. And just to show you that there's no special um, hidden traps, uh, we're going to show you the files that have come down. And that's it, 123 files uh, in about 10 seconds. Now we'll skim through the pa papers that we've downloaded and see which of them are about viruses. This one is, so is that one, so is this one, and this one, and no, that one's about rabbits. There's a type of rabbit called Zika. That's about viruses, viruses. Uh, this one's actually by somebody called Zika, so another false positive. But there aren't many false positives. Virus, 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 more of them, lots of them. So we're doing very well. And that's actually about the Zika forest, which is where the virus uh, originated. And then we're back to more uh, viruses. I'm going to filter the 140 files uh, for sequences. Put in sequence, going to take a particular talk called DNA primer. Uh, and I'm also going to search this for dictionary of tropical diseases. Uh, so that's dictionary, and we'll now search it. The output will come to the console. It's uh, just debugging so I can see what's going on. Um, and the times are on milliseconds, so it's taken seven seconds, nine seconds. Um, it's already done um, the... Uh, sequences, now it's doing the words, and it's finished. In 16 seconds uh, it searched for both of those things, and we'll have a look now at what it's got. So this is what we've got automatically out of the Content Mind software. Down here are all the papers that we found, and for each paper, whether it's got genes, viruses, DNA, species, genus, and the frequency of words. So, for example, these are human metabolic genes. Uh, this is a whole list of diseases, and you can see how consistent they are. Some DNA primers. Here, uh, we've got species which are primarily mosquitoes and other vectors. Uh, and here, we've got the commonest words. Uh, so, this paper is about infectious diseases and endemics, whereas this one's about pyrethroids, which are insecticides. So, if we have a quick look at that. The paper is indeed about uh, pyrethroids, um, and this is the actual compound uh, that is mentioned. The commonest words in the papers, and you can see that they're about mosquitoes, infection, uh, viruses, and so on. And all of that comes out automatically. Here's the commonest uh, species. You can see mosquitoes are among them, uh, but uh, we also have um, the plasmodium malarial parasite. Here are the commonest genes, and CYP is a metabolic gene. We'll see that later. Uh, and other species include bacteria. So the Wolbachia is a bacterium uh, which invades uh, mosquitoes and kills them, hopefully. 
and we can even find DNA in this. Uh, so here is an example of running text, um, and this DNA is in the middle of it, and we can pull that out uh, and identify it by context. So everything is open, data, software, dictionaries. Uh, we've been generously funded by the Shuttleworth Foundation uh, to do this. Come and join us at contentmind.org.